All right, so now we're going to do an example which is quite important in uh, structural analysis. So you can open up your tutorials. Uh, we're going to do question uh, 6 1. Open up your tutorials. This is the question 6 1. So if you look here, we've got uh, a structural member. So how many beams do we have here? Let's count. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have got 6 members and you've got how many joints? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 joints. 6 members and 5 joints. So we are going to solve this using method of joints. Alright. So, step number 1. We are going to construct a free body diagram. So when we are doing the free body diagram, we can we are going to do number one external external free body diagram. So let's solve external free body diagram first. So when we are looking at external, so we're just gonna draw back the structure. Let's draw it as a rectangle. It's fine. So, like so. So it's going to have this force, this force, so 600 Newton here, 900 Newton here. So over here is a pin join, so obviously you're going to have two reaction forces. Over here, yeah, I can draw like this. It's fine. All these are just uh, assumptions on the direction. So this one will definitely be AX, AY. This one is uh, BY, BX. So step number one, external free body diagram. Let's move on to step number two. We're going to solve equilibrium of rigid body so solving equilibrium of rigid body requires us to solve whatever we can so summation fx is equal to zero so let's solve this first whatever is going to the right hand side is a positive so let's settle for that so Let's list down all our forces. So you've got 600. Yeah, there's no need to put Newtons here. <coughs> no need to put the units in our calculation. Just put the values. 600 to the right plus 900 to the right plus uh, AX minus bx is equal to 0 so yeah both are <coughs> pin joints so you have two lah, two reaction forces uh, can we do anything about this you're gonna get something like uh, ax minus bx ax minus bx is equivalent to negative 1500 yeah it is something like that so this is one equation next let's move on uh, let's move on summation f y is equal to zero Uh, going up is a positive. 
<clears throat> so let's look at all our vertical forces. So you've got AY. This one, AY. Uh, what else? Plus BY going up. AY is here. BY is here. Anything else? I don't see anything else. Equivalent to zero. Everything is equivalent to zero because this is in uh, static equilibrium. Obviously, this is the best that you can do for this equation. There's nothing else you can do. So we move on. So next would be summation of moment is equal to zero. So we can take moment at the location where you have a lot of unknowns. In this case, A, you've got two unknowns. B, you've got two unknowns. So same case lah. So you can take either one. A also can, B also can. For example, I take uh, location A. Summation of moment at A is equal to zero. Uh, yeah, so let's proceed. So this is basically the location that you are analyzing right now. Location A. So let's analyze. This one, this 900 Newton force is rotating that way. It's going a negative, negative. This one is also doing a negative. And uh, BY is doing a positive. BX is not involved. AY is not involved because it's not rotating at all. AX is also not involved because it's not rotating at all. So, only three things are involved in this. So, let's write them down. Uh, 900 is a negative. So, negative 900 multiplied by the distance. It would be 2 meter. And then, minus 600 multiplied by the distance. It would be 4 meter. Why it is 4? The, di the, di uh, the distance from 600 Newton up until A and it has to be perpendicular distance and finally you've got BY BY is a positive plus BY multiply by 2 is equal to 0 this is the only equation lah, that you're gonna have and you're gonna find out what is what is BY so let's look at the equation simplify it a bit 2BY is equivalent to 1800 plus 2400 so what do you get 1800 plus 2400 4200 divided by 2 so you're gonna get 2100 Newton 2100 zero zero. This is the value of BY So BY is settled This is the value that you get So this is for BY This is the first value that you get Obviously You can uh, s Substitute here somewhere BY Substitute in Here this equation so if you were to substitute that there you're gonna see a y plus 2100 is equivalent to 0 a y is equal to negative 2100 Newton so you have settled two things huh? Apparently, you can only solve for you can only solve for a few things only, which is you can solve for ay. This one is done, and you can solve for by. This one is done. 
AX and BX. You know that AX minus BX is equal to negative 1500 and that's it. But you cannot solve it. Can you solve it somewhere? I don't think so. No, you cannot solve it. So just leave it as it is. So one thing for sure, you need to uh, repair back. Repair back direction. So, for example, I have AY in the negative direction. So AY, you need to do, you need to repair the direction. BY is correct already. BY is equivalent to two one zero zero newton. This is correct. So AY, the value is two one zero zero. But we need to repair the direction. The direction is no longer like this. It's actually the other way around, which is going this way. Now, this is the correct direction for AY. So, you've done two steps. Uh, solving external free body diagram and solving equilibrium of rigid body. So, once you've done this, we're going to move on to the third step. Third step involves you to draw internal free body diagram. So let's draw an internal free body diagram. And it's going to be quite huge due to the complexity of the problem. Let's draw an internal free body diagram. So number one, I suppose you're going to have to draw some joints first. These are joints. I need to make some more space here. Mm. Move this thing somewhere here. So these are joints. Draw some more joints. So one here, another one probably here. Another one here at location C and finally over here at location B. Okay, so pretty much done. So now let's uh, apply all our forces. So you've got this one, 600 Newton, 900 Newton. Uh, what else? You got AX. AX. You've got uh, BX. BX is over there. And uh, let's look at other forces. AY. AY is going down. Okay. AY goes down like this. 2100 Newton. And BY is going up like that. 2100 Newton. Okay. Are we done? Yeah, we are pretty much done. Let's add one more pen. What color? Huh? Uh, orange color. Okay. So, uh, so in between all these things, they are beams, connections. So these are beams. So you have a lot of beams that you need to fill in. So in order to draw all these beams, you can draw small, small uh, rectangles. So let's draw some small rectangles. Never mind, orange is a good color. So you got small beams. You need to draw slightly small because you are going to be drawing a lot of forces directions. 
Uh, what else? You've got one in the center here. Oh, okay. Money, you got one here. Oh, these are all the small beams. One more pen. Add one more pen. Yellow color. More colors. Yellow. Okay. More colors. Yellow color. Done. Okay, never mind. So, uh, what else? So, you need to fill in the blanks. Let's draw what are the things that should have been here. All these things are forces that requires our attention. Nah. So, it should be forces connecting all these things. We need to fill in the blanks. Fill in the banks. This one, maybe we can move it a bit like that. Okay, very good. So in order to fill in the blanks, we have to do something called a method of joins. Method of joins. So. Method of joints requires us to look at joints. So we are going to be solving it joint by joint. So it takes a little bit of uh, analysis that you have to look at. Look at joints which has the most information. For example, uh, yeah, we, we are going to need to name all these things. So this is joint A. This is joint B. This is joint C, this is joint E. Obviously, upstairs there is going to be joint D. Here is joint D. So, the joint with the most information is, I suppose, joint B. But, it also have two unknowns, two unknown forces. But, for joint A, if you look at this, look at this uh, particular joint. There's a force going down 2100 Newton. So if the force is going down 2100 Newton, definitely there is an opposing force going up at this particular joint. So immediately, you can settle this force just by looking at it. Just by looking at it, you can solve it already. Uh, yeah, this one you can immediately draw like that, or rather, let me zoom in properly. Okay, so we are looking at free body diagram so 2100 going down definitely there is a 2100 force going up like that this one opposite direction this one is going up like that and then this one is going down like this are we okay is this too small for you going down like that 2100 this force definitely has to be the same the same value 2100 newton also this one has to be 2100 newton also same so obviously if you look at this beam it is in tension t tension So, yeah, pretty much done for one join, which is the easiest one, joint A. Solved just by looking at it and looking at the logics of the forces going up and down and looking at the equilibrium. 
Kalau atas 2100, bawah mesti 2100. Kalau bawah 2100, atas masih sama lah. 2100. So, if you look at this, AX, there is no other forces on the right hand side. So, AX does not exist. Am I right? Yeah, if you look at this joint, there are no forces in the x direction. No forces in the x direction. So AX actually does not exist. No AX. But leave it there. Never mind. It's okay. This one actually does not exist. Okay, so let's move on. We have uh, four more joints to look at. You can look at joint D. Joint D seems to be quite uh, easy to solve. Joint B also seems to be like that. So if you look here, here going down is 2100, right? But you cannot immediately just go like that. It doesn't work the same way. Why? Because you also have this vertical component. This is another vertical component. So this will take some of the 2100 Newton load. So you cannot go all the way up, no, because of this vertical component. So I guess the next joint, which is easiest to solve, is definitely joint uh, D. So let's look at joint D. Joint D over here. So let's draw it. Um, draw the joint D. This is the joint. Where are the forces? To the right, like that. I'm going to move this away a bit. This is the joint. 600 Newton is here. And then you have two unknowns. You don't know all these forces yet. But you need to find out about it. Give it a name. This will be F D C. This one will be F D E. Okay. So definitely we need to find out what is the angle over here theta. Theta is equivalent to let's find out. Hmm it will be this angle. The triangles are 4 by 2. And this is the theta. So if you're using tangent, so tangent negative 1, 2 over 4. Tangent negative 1, 2 over 4. Um, 2 divide by 4 shift tangent 26.6 degrees so the value of the angles are 26.6 degrees so let's uh, solve the problem using the new information that we have theta is actually 26.6 26.6 degrees okay okay so now let's write down mm. we're looking at this particular joint only which is joint D okay so this is joint D this is the 600 these are the two unknown forces so tulis lah summation fx is equal to 0 600 this one 600 to to the right fdc campola plus fdc cos or sine cos or sine it has to be sine sine 26.6 degrees 
is equivalent to 0. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. So now we can solve all of it. FDC equals negative 600 divided by sine 26.6 degrees. So what is the value that you get? Six hundred divide sine twenty six point six one three four zero. So the value that you get is negative one three four zero Newton. This is the value of FDC. Are we okay? FDC is negative one three four zero Newton. So we have solved uh, summation fx. Let's do one more, right? Summation fy is equal to 0. Anything going up is actually a positive. Yani anything going to the right is actually a positive. <coughs> so fde going down. So put down negative fde. And then minus FDC cos 26.6 degrees is equal to 0. So let's solve this one. Negative FDE equals FDC cos 26.6 proper. Cos 26.6. 0 0.894. 0 0.894 are we okay so negative becomes a positive but remember you have to plug in what do you plug in you plug in this one which is fdc this whole thing and the value is a negative so make sure you plug in a negative value here so let's plug in negative one three four zero Multiply by 0 0.894. You get negative FDE. So now negative becomes a positive. FDE is equal to multiply by 1340. 1198. So this is the value that I got. 1198. Newton. Is everything in Newton or kilonewton? I suppose it's in Newton. Okay. This is the value that you get. So FDE 1198, FDC 1340, but then it's a negative. So now what you do, you have to do the correct version. This is the assumption version. This, this is you assume. You assume some uh, directions of FDE and FDC. Now you do the correct one. So, correct. Correct. CT. Correct. So the correct version would be, let's look at the joint. This is your joint again. 600 to the right. 600 to the right is correct. Lah. No problem. FDE. Going down. It's 1198 Newton. No problem. Only thing that we have to change is FDC. Reverse the direction of FDC. Now it becomes 1340 Newton. So, this is the actually correct one. This is for joint num D. You are solving this for joint D. So, look at joint D. Where is our joint D? This is joint D. Here, this is our joint D. 
So now we need to copy this and paste here. Copy and then paste. Paste where? Paste at joint D. So let's copy and paste. Take this out. The directions that we're looking at should be 1198 going down. So 1198 like this. Too small, eh? Make it slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. Going down like this. The arrow is going down like that. This one has to go up like that. Lah. Still 1198 Newton. Are we okay? Next. If 1198 going up like that, over here, definitely the arrow is like this. And over here, the arrow has to be like this. What are the values? Same. The values are same values, which is 1198 Newton. Are we okay? So we've uh, settled uh, this one. We've settled this one. We have uh, pasted this one, lah, this value. Next, this 1340. 1340 is going inside, so it has to go inside like that. And then definitely this one is reverse arrow. So 1340 Newton. So follow through until the end. This one also has to be in this direction. Lah. And then this one opposite direction like that. Same value 1340 Newton. So one thing that we forgot to label is the uh, condition. This one will be in tension because both forces are going out. This one will be in compression because both forces are going inside. So far, we have solved how many joints? Join A just by looking at it and join D by putting a few things, lah, which is summation fx. And next, we solve summation Fy. So obviously, there's no moment uh, here because there's only one point. There is no distance. So there's no moment. So let's uh, look back at our joints. How many joints have we solved? We have solved one, two, three joints. This is almost done. So you've got uh, joint C with two unknown join uh, I think this one is join E right yeah just now this is join E down here is our join A if you solve join E the whole these two things will be solved if you solve join B these two things will be solved so you can take your pick lah. I suppose you can look at joint E. E also can C. C kind of hard because of the angled. Yeah, the best way is to look at joint E. Joint E is next. So let's uh, draw. Let's draw joint E. So don't get confused. Look at this joint E. So draw the joint E. This is your joint circle. Put all the forces going down. Apparently, uh, you cannot get a perfect one. Uh. Probably I can use this one, shape. Going down. Doesn't look so natural. Huh? And then going up. Where are we looking at? We're looking at E shape. Ini cento. Lepas tu. 
Mm, let's label them first. Going down to 100, no problem. Clear. This one is 900. Going up, 1198 Newton. So this one you don't know, this one also you don't know. This one we're going to give it a name, F E C. This one will be F E B. So pretty much you have two things now that you don't know. F E C and also F E B. So obviously we need to know what are the angles here. Theta. Theta berapa? So theta we need to take a look back huh? it's our, at our problem. Hmm, what is theta? Obviously if you look over here. Huh? This is 2 meter. This one is 2 meter. So definitely this one is 45 degrees. This one is definitely 45 degrees. If that one is 45, this is same, uh, 45 degrees. So it's the same. Uh. So this one is actually 45 degrees. So now we can solve easily. So what are we looking at first? Uh? We're looking at this thing. So summation fx is equal to 0. To the right is a positive. Senang je lah kan? So put 900. 900. And then campo. F. E. C. Lagi? This one. Plus. F. E. B. Cos 45. Is equal to 0. Okay. So. Mm. This is our border. Why does it look so bad? Eh? I should be using lines. Eh? Ah, this one looks good. This is our line. Okay. So 900, 900 plus FEC, you don't know, plus FEB cost 45. Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. Let's simplify them. So you're going to get FEC plus 0 0.7071 FEB equals negative 900. This is equation number one. Equation one. FEC plus 0 0.071 FEB is equal to negative. So now let's uh, settle the thing. Uh, summation FY is equal to 0. Going up is a positive. So you've got 1198. This one, right? This one. And then look at this one. Minus 2100. Minus 2100. What else? So you've got this one. So this one is definitely a minus also. F E B sign 45 degrees equals 0. Okay. Uh, are we good? Yeah, pretty much. So this is obviously something that you can solve. Neg uh, 1198 minus 2100, what do you get? 1198. 1198 minus 2100. Negative 902. Minus 0 0.7071. F E B equals zero. Are we okay? So you can uh, rearrange back the equation. Negative zero. Mm. 
negative 0.7071 FEB equals 902 kah? So FEB dapat negative lah lah We're gonna get a negative value Negative 902 bahagi 902 bahagi 0.7071 1276 1276 Newton This is the answer that you get lah for this one This is FEB Right? FEB Obviously Take this answer we need to plug in here. We need to plug in that thing there. Oh, cut this off again. Obviously, this is the border. So, plug in. When we plug it in, what do we get? FEC. Jumpo. 0.7071 Put in the value negative 1276 equals negative 900 Correct ah FEC 7071 plug in the negative value you get negative 900 so let's settle this once and for all FEC plus 1276 kali 0.7071 I'm getting a negative value eh So this is a negative value minus 902 equals negative 900 So what's funny here FEC sama dengan negative 900 plus 902 Sudah so, dapat berapa? 2 Newton So pelik tak? Apa yang pelik? Uh, this one lah FEC is equal to 2 Newton Where is our FEC? Look at the, the rest of the problems FDE dapat berapa? 1198 FEB dapat berapa? 1200 Apa lagi yang dapat jawapan? Tiba-tiba FEC pelik Orang lain beribu-ribu 1200 FDC ni kan? Ha, orang lain dapat 1300 2100 2100 Seorang dia dapat 2 Newton So obviously This is weird right? Weird So this is what happens when you get a zero Force Member We will get exactly zero If we were to do proper uh, Calculation In terms of the decimal places if you don't leave out the decimal places, you're going to get exactly zero, zero Newton. So this one is actually, it's actually zero, zero Newton. So FEC is zero. FEB, negative 1276. So obviously, uh, we cannot lose track. So let's uh, plug in our value FEC This one is actually 0 Newton FEB uh, Negative 1276 eh. So again lah We have to repair 
repair the direction this one okay 900 this one okay 11 98 this one 2100 okay no problem this one is zero eh zero how to draw zero eh? zero probably something like that fev reverse direction 12 76 newton so what's new here this one zero lah 12 76 so now remember this is joint e so let's look back lah and our joint e where is our joint e eh? over there cannot see already eh? you have to remember lah 1276 going in so this one is gone lah this one gone gone this one is zero gone no more uh, this one we can plug in the values already what are the values the values are going in like that let's draw properly a bit lah. go in like that like that and then it goes in like this this one also goes in like that this one also goes in like this what is the value still remember our value 1276 which is equivalent to this one lah. this one 1276 this is the correct correct one so 1276 the value is 12276 newton 12276 newton apa jadi eh ini jadinya compressive c compress Ah, uh, obviously, ah, uh, you need to do one more thing, ah. Uh. Oh, you don't need to do any more. Look at here. This is already zero. There is no connection. So obviously, this one, there's no connection, eh? No connection. There is a connection, lah. But nothing is taking any loads in the horizontal direction. There's nothing anymore here. There's nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. So if you look here, join C. Cuba look here, join C. Tapi look here lah. Tengok pula punya lah. Ini 1340 kan? Dia mestilah sama direction dia. Dia akan pergi belakang ni. So this one, the reaction force at the joint here will be in the opposite direction. This one goes like that. This one also goes like that. Ini berapa value sama? 13.40 Newton. 13.40 Newton. Ini apa value dia? The condition is compressive. Compressive, tension, tension, tension. No, no. Dua tension. Tiga compressive. And finally, we do a simple conclusion. So, we look at the max. Apa yang max dekat sini? Tinggi sekali ya. Eh? This this one lah. Tinggi sekali 2100 Newton in tension. Minimum sekali. Minimum sekali zero lah kot lah. Hmm. Zero. Yang tak ada value. Yang ada value would be 1276. 12. 76 in compressive so this is the conclusion for our not so simple lah this is not so simple lah for this structure so this is how you solve this problem lah how much calculation do you need to do wow that much lah that much of calculation that you need to do What is the most important thing that you need to produce? This one. The most important thing is for you to produce this 
internal free body diagram. This thing right here. This one. This will answer everything that you need to know about this problem. So if this is correct, everything is correct. Lah. Okay, so you can look at this. This is how you can solve it step by step. Alright, so that's all for this problem.